Good day viewers, this is 300 plus academy where all we do is exams tutoring, ensuring that you ace your next and every exam. Of course, still on the business of uh, chemistry practical for YEC, talking about alternative B. Yes, this is the sister uh, lecture video for this series and it's the uh, final one talking about quantitative analysis. Of course, in the question you can see on your screen, D is a solution containing 6.3 gram per dm cube of HNO3. So D here is uh, actually HNO3, and the concentration is about 6.3 gram per dm cube. That's talking about the mass concentration. E is actually just a solution of sodium trihydrocarbonate 4. We were specifically told this is sodium trihydrocarbonate 4. And that just about ended. No mass concentration, no molar concentration. We were told to put D into the burette and titrate it against 20 or 25 cm cube portions of E. Using methyl orange as indicator, record the volume of your pipette, repeat the titration uh, to obtain consistent titers, tabulate your burette readings, and calculate the average volume of the use. Talking about tabulation of the reading of the burette readings and uh, calculating average volume of D talking about Charles and Liquid 5 you can see that on your screen it is actually something we've dealt with in the very first uh, lecture video for this quantitative analysis uh, alternative B uh, series we've done that and we've agreed already that 24.60 cm cube is our average volume of D use or what we call average title value so that just answers that there in this particular question we were given equation as you can see in the question so um b we were told from your results and information provided calculate the concentration of e in mole per dm cube now you look at this very well for me to be able to calculate CE in mole per dm cube, that was what I was told to calculate. That's talking about uh, when you look at the question, that is B1. Now, I know that my VE, that's talking about the volume of sodium charge of carbon in four years, that's the volume of my pipette. I use 25 cm cube. According to the equation, uh, NE is actually 1. Now, for me to be able to calculate the condition of E in mole per dm cube, that means I must have been given my CD in mole per dm cube. But when I look at this, I don't even have my CD in mole per dm cube. That is still somehow one thing. VD equals to 24.60. And ND from the equation is actually two. So, CD in mole per dm cube must be known. I need to know the concentration of HNO3, that's my D, in mole per dm cube. And with the data that I have, I have the mass concentration to be 6.3 gram per dm cube. With that, I should be able to... Uh, very quickly answer uh, that particular uh, question. So, talking about D here, I can get my CD mole per dm cube. CD mole per dm cube is going to be C in gram per dm cube. CD in gram per dm cube divided by the uh, molar mass. In this case, this is 6.3. 6.3 gram. Molar mass of HNO3, HNO3 from calculation is actually 63. So that this is going to be 0 0.100 mole per dm cube. So now, now that I know that I can get my C, if I use uh, CD, VD, divided by CE, VE, equals to ND over N. E. Since I'm looking for C, I make C the subject. C is going to be C, D, V, D, N, E, divided by V, E, N, D. 
And what this means is, CD is 0 0.1 times VD, that is 24.60 times 1, divided by VE is 25 times ND here is 2. So when we compute these uh, from a calculator, we will be getting 0 0.049 mole per dm cube. That is the concentration of E in mole per dm cube. So we've been able to answer B1, as you can see in that question. We're told to calculate concentration of E in gram per dm cube. CE in gram per dm cube. Concentration in gram per dm cube is actually concentration in mole per dm cube times molar mass. Concentration in mole per dm cube times molar mass. So the concentration in mole per dm cube here is 0 0.049. 0 0.049. Now, since the E we are talking about is actually sodium trisocarbonate 4. The molar mass here is 106 gram per mole. So, times 106. So, this here is what we're going to compute. And this is going to give us 5.22 gram per dm cube when we compute from our calculator. So, this is B1. This here is B2 that uh, we've been able to calculate that's 5.22 gram per dm cube. Now for question three, we're told to look for the mass of sodium ions in one dm cube of E. Mass of sodium ion, you see? B3. Mass of sodium ion in 1.0 dm cube of E. That's the uh, question there. But when you look at sodium carbonate, let us dissociate this. This means 2Na plus plus CO3 2 minus. So I'm looking for the mass of sodium ion that will be in 1 dmq of uh, uh, E. Now, when you look at uh, this uh, very well, uh, the, the sodium carbonate from our calculation here, our sodium carbonate is 0 0.049 mole. To say mole per dm cube mole, it means in 1 dm cube. But look at it. This is 0 0.049 mole in 1 dm cube. Now that our sodium here is 2 mole, so it means that the number of mole of sodium here is going to be 2 times 0 0.049. And if you compute that from a calculator, 2 times 0 0.049, that is going to mean um, 0 0.098 mole in 1 dm cube. That is exactly what you have. It's just about equating. That's exactly, you see, my CE, 0.049 mole per dm cube. That's mole in one dm cube. So if I dissociate this, I'm talking about two mole here. So if this is one mole and that's 0.049, then this is two mole. That is two times 0.049. That's going to give us 0.098 mole of sodium ion in one dm cube. Since the question uh, talks about we looking for the mass we only need to convert this to mass so that mass equals to mole times molar mass so this is 0 0.098 times 23 because sodium as you've seen in the question the relative atomic mass is 23 so 0 0.098 times 23 that's going to give you 2.25 gram so what we have there is 2.25 gram in 1 dm cube. So this here is the mass of sodium ion in 1 dm cube of E. And that just answers uh, that. Looking at question 4, we're told to calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate 
used in the reaction number of moles this is uh b roman figure four so in this case we're told to look for number of moles of sodium carbonate in the reaction used in the reaction in the reaction number of moles of sodium carbonates used in the um reaction so when you look at this our sodium carbonate you know it was 25 cm cube that we pipetted so it's just like telling me to look for the number it's just like telling me to look for the number of sodium carbonate in 25 cm cube yes because the pipette is actually 25 cm cube when we've been clearly told that the concentration here is 0 0.049 mole per dm cube 0.049 mole in one dm cube here will mean 1000 cm cube yes look at it very well with the concentration once we know the concentration of e that's the sodium carbonate we can be told to calculate quite a number of things so in here look at the question once again you were told to calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate used in the reaction in this reaction it was 25 cm cube that was used so we want to know the number of moles of sodium carbonate in 25 cm cube when we already know for a fact that we have 0 0.049 mole in one dm cube in one dm cube means 1000 cm uh cube if we equate this if we equate this this is what we're going to have number of moles of sodium charles or carbonate for is going to be 0 0.049 mole times 25 divided by a thousand and uh, the number of moles of sodium carbonate therefore should give us if we compute this should give us uh 0 0.001225 0 0.001225 mole of course you can just uh reduce this to uh maybe one two three about three decimal places if you want so that ends that question because the question says we should calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate in the reaction and in the reaction it was 25 cm cube of sodium carbonate e that we pipetted moving on um we were taught to look for the mass of sodium carbonate not more now mass of sodium carbonate in 25 cm cube portion of it in 25 cm cube portion of it now this is still like a case of having to uh uh equate okay i i i have checked this again this is 5.19 gram per dm cube not 5.22 so in here when you're talking about the mass you should be looking your, your attention should be drawn to the mass concentration when you're talking about the mole it should be drawn to the molar concentration so in this case what we have is that we have 5.19 gram in 5.19 gram sodium carbonate is what we have in one dm cube to say one dm cube here is to say 1000 cm cube so the same thing just like we did for question four we have to uh equate this equating this the mass of sodium carbonate is going to be 5.19 times 25 divided by a thousand that way you know the mass of sodium charles carbonate for present in 25 cm cube in the 25 cm cube that was pipetted if you compute this from your calculator you're going to get 0 0.13 gram 0 0.13 gram and that just about ends that look at it very well nothing to uh, tedious you just have to be calm in case you don't understand uh, what we are talking about you still can uh, put forward your question on whatsapp on the you can send a dm on the number displayed on your screen and you can as well check us out 
on our website 300 plus academy.com join any of the whatsapp uh, group there and of course send all of your questions to the admin we'll be glad to tend to your every need okay moving on to the next uh, question uh, we have some question it states uh, that's question six it states give one reason why sodium carbonate can be conveniently used in this experiment though it is a normal salt and we were told to write the chemical equation to support our answer we we're told to give one reason why sodium carbonate can be used in the experiment though in normal salts now the answer there is very simple it is because sodium carbonate is capable of hydrolyzing in water you can see at the answer on your screen because sodium carbonate hydrolyzes in water producing sodium hydroxide in solution the strong base that's talking about sodium hydroxide dominates the solution and therefore solution becomes alkaline so when you look at it what we have you said d in this case was uh hno3 and you said e was sodium carbonate now we've been asked why is it that we can conveniently use this sodium carbonate this is the reason sodium carbonate we hydrolyze in water when in water this is what will be formed 2NaOH now that's the equation 2NaOH okay and then you're going to have plus H2CO3 you know that this is more of a weak acid so this can give us h2o and carbon dioxide. so looking at the sodium hydroxide here this is a strong alkali this is a strong base whereas this is a weak acid so uh the sodium carbonate and uh alongside water the whole mixture turns out to be alkaline that is why we can ideally use that you know it's still more like an acid this year as our acid now this one is acting as our base though sodium carbonate is a normal salt but in water it is going to hydrolyze forming the strong base sodium hydroxide which of course is now going to mean our base versus acid here so that is why ideally we can use sodium carbonate conveniently uh, uh, for this experiment talking about uh, neutralization uh, reaction okay we were told also in the question to write a chemical equation to support our answer yes the chemical equation we needed to write is exactly what you have on the board and it's also displaying on your screen and with that we have come to the end of everything that has to do with yec 2020 for it's been a great pleasure having you if you have any question if you have any concern, do not hesitate to uh, reach out on those uh, numbers displayed on your screen. And you can reach out to us via our uh, mail as well, 300 plus academy at gmail.com. From myself and the entire team, it's bye for now.